I have to admit, I'm a hard working person. morning we're up here cleaning the screen off and sushi. there's some su sushi on the screen here yeah. you can tell it's been a while since anybody's been up here I bet no one's been up here since the last time we were up here. I just have the camera going in case Marcy falls in. Sidetrack, I hear geese. Geese are flying. Yeah. Like Jaren's been up here. I was just going to say, Jaren? It was a nice sunrise this morning, though. Yes, I was watching it until someone interrupted me and said, let's look at your pipe. Well, drink your coffee faster. Make the sun come up faster. Yeah. I hate how late it's coming up now. I am not ready for winter. Just getting ready for the water later this morning. I think we're gonna water, we gotta water Kathy's lawn and then we're gonna water that silage corn on Elmer's one more time. And then, what else are we going? Oh, Skinner's this morning. I, I don't know if he's got that one going yet or not. I haven't talked to Rick yet. And then, I don't know if we'll start the east ditch today or not. But we'll go up and check the head gate on the canal and see if there's anything stuck in it. Alright, there was nothing in front of the head gate, so we're gonna go grab pipes off of Zitto's. <laughs> bring them to Elmer's. We're gonna go set Kathy's head gates up so when the neighbor's done with the water, they can just turn it right down and it'll all be ready to go in there so yeah we're going to do that today well uncle rick beat us to the siphon tubes he already got them off of zitto's got them on elmer's we got the dam set so that one's all ready now we're going to go play in the stinky swamp water mud and try and fix a ditch she's super excited down here on Skinner's, the ditch has been backed up and overflowing and leaking and has washed a few holes in that into their ditch. So we're gonna go try and clean the ditch out and get the holes plugged and get ready to water that stubble as soon as Bernard's done. All right, we got this project done. We got the dam pulled out from in front of this pipe put over there. Should have been recording that. That was an episode. But we got a big hole right here. Big mouse hole. Keeps washing out. And was filling this ditch. And it's what flooded this grain field. So Jeremy couldn't finish cutting it. For a couple of weeks. Where he got stuck. But we got that done. Now we're just waiting for the water. So that dam's only been in. What a month. And there's so much freaking dirt and crap in this water that it has filled that pipe 
clear full. I dig it out, but with the raccoon and skunk tracks that were around here, I don't want to find something in there. The orchids. We got all the orchids. And I don't know how we're going to get that water down that ditch as dirty as it is. Oh. And I don't know how we get water down that thing. That's two-thirds of the way yeah, full of mud right there, and we dug it out this spring. Yeah, I, I just got in there. Your raccoon's been in there, too. Oh, I bet he's living in these haystacks. That is so much freaking dirt right there, but... Good thing we're about done with this ditch, then we won't have to worry about it till next spring. In theory, we shouldn't need gloves. In theory. In theory. In theory, I'm gonna wrap this around my hand so it don't drop in the water. It is a GoPro, but you ready? Maybe. There's too many weeds in it, it don't want to <laughs> let go. You're gonna have to throw it over there and set it. You know, grab a shovel. His is right there in the back. Yeah, we might not need it. was right I need to sharpen my shovel I need to sharpen mine too let's put another one right here so get it out Stay there now. A lot of work for an old fat man. You got that on video? Yeah. Oh. As Ethan would say, 
That's why it's called Fat Farmer Friend. Geese are chasing each other. Stupid geese. They're right there. Where were they at? Were they circling, waiting for us to oh, leave? They were going from up north. Just as we left. Yeah. Oh, got more dropping in. Probably that 30 or 40 that was here last week when we watered. Probably. Stupid suckers. <laughs> yep, Couple come. more weeks and then they'll disappear. You know, I'd probably wait to do something. 10, 12 times. I never have to get shot. They're always just out the part of you. But yet yeah, we're cruel and unusual for hunting them. Yeah. They're tasty in the crock pot. I like him as jerky. That too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Goose and duck jerky. Well, we want to pick those pipes up while we're here. Or? I'd say let's let it dry up. Let it dry up. Let them sit there. We shouldn't need them anywhere for a while. Oh, we got that set on Elmer's. Yeah. I got a pitchfork in the back of the truck. <laughs> Just so you know, that was a pain in the ass change that. <laughs> Digging that sod out. Then we had about 30 geese flying in, so. Got the boss man coming up now. Running good, sweet. We'll let it run till. Well, this one took what seven hours? A long time. Yeah, we had it going about 12:30, and we just changed it at 7:30. So it took a long time. Okay. Uncle Rick's got a broken tail light, so it looks like he's backing up all the time. But just to put red tape over it. yeah, put some duct tape over it. Yeah, we got Elmer's changed. We're gonna take it on the hay field, I think about midnight, and then come down here and hopefully be able to change this onto the long runs about one o'clock in the morning, we're hoping. So yeah, that's gonna be the day today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for laughing with us. We'll see you in the next one.